when we look at changes in the temperature and how they affect an equilibrium system, one thing that will be very different from the other changes is that the change in temperature will change the equilibrium constant for the system. When we change concentrations of reactants or products, or when we change the volume or pressure of a system at equilibrium, there is no change to the equilibrium constant. When we change the temperature of a system at equilibrium, the effect of the temperature depends on if the reaction is endothermic or exothermic. When we have an endothermic reaction, that means heat is added to the system. In other words, we could treat the heat as if it were a reactant. For an exothermic reaction, heat is released from the system, and so we can treat the heat as products in a reaction. Viewed in this way, heat can be treated as either a reactant in ex endothermic reactions or product in exothermic reactions. Since Le Chatelier's principle says that added products will shift reactions to the left and adding reactants will shift reactions to the right, we see that increasing the temperature will increase the value of the equilibrium constant for endothermic reactions. And increasing the temperature will decrease the value of the equilibrium constant for exothermic reactions. At the same time, increasing the temperature in an endothermic reaction will shift the reaction toward the products, which will result in a larger equilibrium constant. Increasing the temperature in an exothermic reaction will decrease the value of K by shifting the reaction toward the left or toward formation of more reactants. What would be the effect of adding a catalyst to a system at equilibrium? In short, adding a catalyst will have no effect on the composition of the equilibrium mixture. The catalyst will increase the rate at which the system reaches equilibrium, but the equilibrium itself is not disturbed by the presence of a catalyst. Let's take a few minutes to summarize everything we've learned based on Le Chatelier's principle. We'll look at an increase in the reactant concentration, the pressure, or temperature. We'll predict which way the system will shift and also what the effect on the value of the equilibrium constant will be. If we increase the reactant concentration, the system will shift to the right and the value of the equilibrium constant will remain constant. If we increase the pressure of a system in equilibrium, the system will shift in the direction of fewer moles of gas, and the value of the equilibrium constant will again remain constant. If we increase the temperature of a system in equilibrium, the system will shift right if the system is endothermic. And in that situation, there will be an increase in the value of the equilibrium constant. However, if we increase the temperature of a system at equilibrium and the system is exothermic, the system will shift to the left and we'll see a decrease in the value of the equilibrium constant. By now, you should be able to describe the role of heat in endothermic and exothermic reactions. You should be able to predict the direction an endothermic reaction will shift due to temperature changes. You should also be able to predict the direction an exothermic reaction will shift due to temperature changes. You should be able to predict how temperature changes will affect the value of an equilibrium constant. Finally, you should be able to describe the impact of catalysts on systems at equilibrium.